Hey! Shortly after Angular 2 was released in 2016, the Angular team provided a detailed style guide. This style guide established a set of coding practices and promoted consistency. That made it easy to recognize and understand most any Angular code from the documentation, from other teams, or from anywhere on the internet. Now, eight years later, the team is proposing a significant overhaul of that style guide. In this video, we walk through one of the key topics in this style guide, naming. The Angular team is proposing some significant changes to how we name our Angular files and classes. But first, let's look at two recommendations that aren't changing. Separate words in file names with hyphens. Most projects already follow this suggestion. Say you have a component that is a list of products. If you name the component product list, the file name should be product-list.ts, and a component product detail should be named product-detail.ts. Did you notice something missing here? If this is a component, shouldn't it be product list component? We'll talk about that in a moment. Another naming convention that isn't changing is to name the unit test the same name as the file under test with a .spec at the end. So for our product list component, the test file is product-list.spec.ts. The product detail component test file is product-detail.spec.ts. Now here's the big change to the style guide. Avoid suffixing components, directives, and services with their type. Wait, what? We've always added the type of class to the class name. So our product list is product list component, and our product detail is product detail component. Same for our services, product service. The new guidance recommends avoiding that suffix. Why such a major change to a convention we've used for eight years? The documentation says suffixing the type onto the class names is redundant and generally makes the code feel unnecessarily verbose. But there could be something more pushing toward this change. The Angular team has been looking for ways to simplify and minimize the boilerplate code we have to write. I'll bring up an older application that I have. Here is a simple shopping cart sample application. It has products and a cart. I'll open the cart-list.component.ts file. Notice that every component has two names, the class name here, cart list component, and the selector name here, sw-cart-list. Opening the cart-shell.component.ts file, we use the component name in the imports array and use the selector name in the template. What if a future version of Angular used just one name? We could get rid of the selector and instead use the class name. Would we rather this was cart list component or just cart list? Looking at it from this perspective, dropping the component suffix makes sense. Does that make it easier to consider this new convention? I'll undo that change because, at least for now, this won't compile. With dropping the suffix, our component names could cause a conflict. Say, for example, we'd named a component cart component. If we changed it to just cart, it would conflict with our cart.ts interface file. We'd need to make it more descriptive, more specific, like cart list. What about services? Here is the product.ts file. It defines the interface for a product. That is one of the key types that this application works with. Here is our product.service.ts. We can't just rename this to product and our file name to product.ts. It conflicts with our product interface. Going back to the style guide, the style guide recommends using data client as a suffix instead. So product data client instead of product service? That seems more unnecessarily verbose, not less. And is it any more clear? Look at this next suggestion. There are exceptions to this guidance for ng module and pipe classes. Maybe we should include services in the exception and leave services with the service extension. 
If you feel strongly about these naming conventions, one way or the other, feel free to use the comments below this video. And if you'd like to share your thoughts with the Angular team, consider posting directly to the Request for Comment, or RFC, in GitHub here. I'll add the RFC link to this video's notes. You can see a description of the proposal and how other members of the community reacted to this change. Scroll down to the bottom to add your comments. In the past, the Angular team has modified their plans based on feedback from the community, so make your voice heard. Let's go back to the proposed style guide and review the last two naming suggestions. Match file names to the TypeScript identifier within. Most Angular developers already do this. The only part we may stumble on is this last sentence. Avoid overly generic file names like helper.ts, utils.ts, or common.ts. How many of us haven't thrown in one of these from time to time? Lastly, use the same file name for a component's TypeScript, template, and style. I would guess that most of us follow this one already as well. In our product example, we'd have product-list.ts, product-list.html, and product-list.css. These changes to the Angular naming conventions are currently only a proposal. The Angular team has issued a request for comment so the community can provide comments and suggestions. One point that came from the community, if the suffixes are removed, some tooling like IDEs, editors, ESLint, and Prettier that rely on the current, consistent Angular naming conventions may no longer work. If you feel strongly about this change, take advantage of this opportunity to provide your thoughts by adding a comment to this RFC. Thanks for watching, and if this content was useful, please like and subscribe.